Hello, now this may look like a murder scene, but it's actually a highly sophisticated spray booth. Which brings me on to tonight's episode. I am going to finally be painting this DB7 bumper. Now if you watched my previous episodes, you'll know this bumper was completely smashed here. This part here was detached and the end was completely missing. So I've had to fabricate a new one. I've also had to reattach this piece here because it had completely broken off. And repair various cracks at various points. So it's taken several weeks of hard work. We're finally at a point where I can give this a really good panel wipe, get some higher build on it and make it look nice again. Now if you like this sort of thing, please remember to hit that subscribe button and show your appreciation by simply liking the video. If you want to leave a comment below, they're always welcome as well. Right, I'm going to use a proper high build gun this time. It's got a 1.8mm nozzle, whereas a normal spray gun is probably 1.3, 1.4, which allows you to put the paint on a little bit thicker. And because obviously this has had a lot of repairs, I just want to try and fill all the impurities and make it look as good as possible. So yeah, I haven't got much hard build left, so hopefully there's enough. Wish me luck! Take one done. Now I managed two coats and I wanted to give it a little bit more but I've run out of paint which is really annoying. So I'm just going to have to block it back and see what it looks like. It needs a little bit more, I'll over some more paint. Right, so I did run out of paint. I've had to buy some more. It's one of them things, it's like about one and a half coats but it's not enough. So I've bought some more, I'm going to stick it on. Now I've rubbed the whole thing down again. However, I wasn't really sure if I needed to. Obviously it's primer, so it's porous, it's high build, so it's pretty textured. If you're over painting with new high build like two days later, do you need to rub it down? If you know, just leave a comment below because I'm, I'm quite curious to be fair. I'm guessing you don't, but I've done it just in case. So basically I'm gonna put this on now, give it a couple of coats. I'm not gonna do it on camera because it's stuff you've seen before that you get the idea. So next time you see this, it should be ready for its final rub down and then base coat lacquer. Right, it's now been painted. It's been left for 48 hours to cure. So I'm gonna block it back now. So I'm gonna start with a bit of guide coat and go from there. Right, the eagle eye viewers will notice I've put a little bit of dolphin glaze there and there and a couple of areas just because I could see there was a low spot. So I figured rather than block it all down then do it, I might as well just do it now. So I've done that, I can start blocking it down and that can dry in the meantime. Right, I'm going to use some brand new 400 Abernet cloth and go from there. Right, you guys really don't need to see all this. So next time you see this bumper, it's going to be ready for base coat. Fingers crossed anyway. And as if by magic, it's done. This has taken me about three hours to get it to this stage, but I'm dead chuff of it. It's really smooth and it's looking really good. So the next job now is to give it a good panel wipe and then we're ready for spraying. Right, I'm going to mix the paint now. Now this is just base coat, standard stuff. Give it a good shake, and then you mix this 50-50. So that's 50% base coat, 50% thinners. Look at that colour, beautiful. I want plenty. The cup is clean, I do assure you that. It's just static, stuck dust to the outside, but the inside's been completely clean.
Right, that's 250 mil. We'll start with that. And obviously we need 250 mil thinners. Right. Just gonna quickly clean this gun again. It's gonna get two coats of silver, and then I'm gonna allow it to dry. Once it's gone off for a little bit, I'm gonna give it five or six coats of lacquer. I want plenty of lacquer on it because then I can rub it back afterwards and make it shine really well. If I get any imperfections in it, obviously, it gives me more scope to rub it back and polish it. So it's had a good few coats. Looks really good. Well, majority of it does. However, we had a little drip. A drip came out the top of the gun and there was some silver paint around it and it dripped some silver paint in with some thinners. So I kind of, not thinners, lacquer. So I kind of wiped it a little bit and gave it another couple of coats on top. I'm hoping it's going to polish out, but I'm not really confident it's going to. Right, this is dry now. It's been a good 24 hours since I painted it. It's had a bit of heat on it. I'm going to block it back a little bit and see if I can get that out. If I can't, I'm going to have to respray the bloody gun pool, which is really annoying because I'm pretty chuffed with the rest of it. So this is a bit of 800 Abronet. Bit of 1200. It's getting a little bit lighter, but we're still a long way off yet. That's it, guys. We have to respray it, it's gone through. I thought it was going to. I've nearly got rid of it, but not quite. It's gone through to the primer there, so yeah. Never mind, eh? Da da! Now, I probably made this look very easy, but in fact, it really wasn't. This has been an absolute nightmare. So I made the rookie mistake of thinking I could flat it back the next day. Obviously, I put loads of lacquer on it. The paint felt fairly dry until I started sanding it, and when I ripped a little bit of paint, basically, it just ripped the edge away slightly. So I've had to let it fully cure, sand it right back, then had a reaction with the paint. So yeah, it's just been an absolute nightmare. But as you can see, we have got a freshly painted bumper and it looks pretty damn good. So it needs a bit of a wet flat, but it's not bad. Now I think, for all my effort in this video, I deserve at least a comment and a like, if not a subscribe, because this has been an absolute nightmare, this bumper. But we got there and hard work has paid off. So please stay tuned for more, guys. I'm going to carry on with Aston next week. And we'll hopefully have it on the road soon. Thank you. Bye bye. Or something you've probably seen out of some... <laughs> Oh dear. I just want to try and fill all the impurities. A proper high build gun. Now this is a 1.8 mil.